yeah, you know, there's, for ourselves, the most important thing is that, that we don't have any major injuries. Um, obviously, it's, it's a really high risk in those kind of situations that you, you could have a potential for an injury. But no, I think, you know, I was really thankful when I did manage to pop my head out from where I was uh, held up after the after the incident that you could see everyone's helmets and that they're all all right. And, uh, that's definitely the, the, the priority at that stage is you know, making sure all the guys are all right because everything else you can fix. Yeah, well, just just a few bruises and cuts, um, nothing major. Obviously, there's a fair bit of uh, broken carbon and stuff around, and uh, just a few few minor minor bruises. Yeah, well, for us, um, obviously, we've got pretty significant damage. I think um, anyone that's watching would be able to tell you that without needing too much explanation. But uh, the guys, the guys are pulling together at the moment. Obviously, we've just just craned out, so they're just assessing, you know, how bad it is, and you know, we'll put together a, a reasonable, um, you know, goal of what we're trying to achieve. And, no, we'll definitely be back out racing at some stage. Um, we're not sure whether we'll be able to do it in overnight, but no, we've got a great short team and this kind of stuff um, you know, pulls us back together. And no, We've got, got a really resilient bunch there that will be back fighting. Yeah, well, for ourselves, you know, it's something we've, we've got to go and review as well. And you've probably got a better understanding from watching it from the outside than we do. Uh, obviously, we got really high and then I think the, the front foil ventilated and we went down with, you know, <laughs> fair bit of pitch with a lot of speed and you now it's something that you know we're just thankful no one was injured. Yeah we obviously sustained a bit of damage to the first wing uh, you know when we first sheeted on out of the dock and you now it's something thankfully we could foil back home quickly and you know put the second wing in the boat and make it back out there for that that first race and I think that's full credit to the whole team uh, that everyone was out there on the forecourt helping. Uh, we probably had something like 50 or 60 people there um, all, all lending a hand and you know, we only only really made it to that first race with a couple of minutes to spare. So, you know, full credit to the guys. Uh, not at all. Um, yeah, something that, like I said before, we're going to have to go back and review ex exactly what happened. Uh, obviously, um, yeah, it's not ideal <laughs> uh, to have that happen. But, you know, our, our short team's going to be digging deep now. Everyone's going to be lending a hand to, to get it back on the water. Yeah, well, the three of us that were on the high side, it was right with us sitting in there. and. No, one of our chases picked up the other two after you know we'd given them comms that they were all okay. Um, I think it was something that was a great deal of relief to, to myself and a few of the other guys on board that you could look look around the back and, and see all the helmets. Know everyone was know everyone was all right. Um, obviously, it's something that that's the that's the priority at that stage. You know, making sure everyone's safe and well, and then um, you try and pick up the pieces after that. No, well, like I said earlier, you know we literally only just got in you know, as I was walking over here. We we're still craning the boat out, so. Uh, we, we literally are still assessing the damage. We don't quite know how bad it is yet, but uh, we'll definitely be fighting to get back out there.